Hi, tonight we're at uh, Bandy Campgrounds at uh, Big South Fork and we're making African Jollof chicken. So please stick around. For this one. Tonight we're making African Jollof chicken. It's a recipe I found off of Tony Chashery's website several years back ago. Um, it's a, something that uh, oh, I can't think of the guy's name right now. Uh, one of the chefs in uh, New Orleans, though, uh, was serving up at using quite a bit of Tony Chashery's seasoning. Um, it gets a history mostly from the f French colonial period. Um, pretty spicy, uh, comes rooted in Africa. Um, it, after reading it, it was something I found uh, that I thought I wanted to try in the Dutch ovens. So I uh, started doing that, and it's been it's been a camping favorite of ours. I, I can't say we make it all the time, but we've uh, we've probably made it a good ten times or better now. So uh, it's one I just want to share with you. I got me some coals heating up here. Uh, 24 or just uh, I'm gonna put them all on the bottom in my Dutch oven to get some oil heating up so we can uh, flash fry the chicken real fast and then uh, after that we'll make more of a Dutch oven meal out of it and uh, add the rest of the ingredients and start some new coals top and bottom and all that so uh, give me just a quick second to get the oven heated up and uh, I'll get back with you Okay, I've got, uh, I don't know what just happened. i got a segment that didn't film. Um, anyhow, in that segment, I've, uh, I was going to recap you and let you know that the chef I couldn't think of, his name was Carl Broussard from uh, New Orleans. He worked at the uh, Gross Yo Enterprises. And uh, this is one of his recipes that I found off of Tony Chashery website. And the other recap is I've got uh, um, four chicken thighs right now frying in the uh, oil. I'm going to let them go for three to five minutes each side, season them slightly with some salt and pepper. I just want to brown them up a little bit and then before we add that back to the rice and everything else. So that's the recap that for whatever reason the camera turned itself off and didn't record. Okay, I forgot my tongs. So I'm having to flip them with a spoon. That part's not going to be too, too bad, but uh, I also forgot my charcoal tongs, so when it comes time to putting coals and stuff on the lid, that ought to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to let these fry up on the other side, skin side, for just a few minutes. Um, get another batch of coals starting, um, and then we'll get right back with you. Remove these for the time being. And then I'm going to have to find to uh, cover them up for a few minutes. I can track that out in a few minutes. Keep that there. Okay, so I got some onions. I'm going to let saute it up. It really is a pretty simple dish, and uh, quite tasty though. 
It's a really good, good dish. A blend of a lot of spices. Um, besides the Tony Chashery spice, there's uh, some cinnamon, there's some ginger, there's some thyme. I think I put a little bit of clove in it also. And It calls mostly for, for a garnish, uh, for fresh parsley, but I just went ahead and put a couple tablespoons of dried parsley as an herb to put in there with it. It's a nice little seasoning blend. I got it all mixed together in a Ziploc baggie so it's just easier for transport. But. Okay, I'm going to let that saute for just a few minutes and then go back and finish getting my other coals started. Okay, so I need to drain the oil and I'm just going to save the my little wings here. It's hot. that right there for a second and see if I can't capture a little bit of my oil without having it. Drink it. And then we turn the chicken back to the pot. Oh, them tongues of mine sure would be nice. Sit off. If you would bring me the rest of the ingredients, Ruthie. Uh, the chicken broth and the tomatoes. Yeah, that too. And the rice. Yeah, that too. And the spice. Yeah. Alright. I think I used, uh, uh, nope, just regular peeled tomatoes, I thought they were Italian spice. It's supposed to be a cup and a half of, uh, of chicken broth, I'm going to go ahead and use the two, uh, the, the full can, 14 and a half ounces, sorry, it was a cup and a quarter, so it's just a couple ounces more, but it'll probably be alright. cup of long grain rice. And I'm just gonna put all that in there. Okay. My, my spice blend. All the rice gets submerged. I'm 
There we go. All the rice is under liquid. Two things in there. Coals are almost about ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on it. Trap that heat. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace my coals. I got uh, 10 for the bottom, 15 for the top. That's 12 inch Dutch oven. Uh, it should be good enough. And then we're going to let it cook for about an hour. And uh, just that easy. So um, I'll get back with you here during the cooking process when we peek on it and stuff. But that's, that's pretty much where we're at with it right now. Okay, it's uh, been pretty close to 45 minutes. Um, so let's take a peek and see how it's doing. I've been rotating the bottom this way and then the top this way. The last I peeked on it, it was looking pretty good. I've got a couple coals here that ain't doing worth a crap, but put a few extra more on there to compensate for that. Just so, so I think it's I think it's doing okay. Let's take a peek just to see. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. These coals are almost about gone, so I'm gonna let these go another. I'm gonna let the whole thing go another 15 minutes. That should should make up for the a lot of time. We'll take a peek at it then and see how much how much juice is left. It's not usually a very juicy meal. I did have a little bit extra chicken chicken broth this time around and that's yeah these bottom coals are really gone. That uh the pop-up storm that we have not got yet has uh kind of changed the way some of the coals have been acting, but um I think it'll be alright still. Alright, so we'll come back and check on here again in another 15 minutes. Okay, it's been uh, right at about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, I went ahead and added a couple fresh coals just because uh, it was these were kind of slow building up any heat and uh, kind of thought there's, I know the bottom ones were spent so. Peaked on it probably probably five minutes ago when everything was looking really nice. So let's take a look at it again. I'm pretty sure it's really close to being done. Ooh, there he is. Look at that. That is a nice looking meal. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and call this done. Get it plated up for a second so you can see that part of it, but it's a nice looking meal. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looking good, looking good. All right, Ruth, how much you want? few tomatoes too. There we go. Look at that. No stickage. Beautiful looking meal. Woohoo. Hot on there. Yeah, they don't seem to be as insulated as Yeah. Nice looking meal, isn't that? Okay, so um, here we go. 
This is our meal for the night. Jollof chicken. Thank you for spending the evening with us, watching the video. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time in the woods. There you go, Rue. Okay. What you One thinking? of my favorite meals. Mm. Mm. Superb, babe. You like? Yes. Spicy.